How's it going YouTube? Got Blade Edge here and I'm coming at you with a knife review today. Uh, this is a long-term review on this guy right here. This is the Hinderer Jurassic. And I did a I did my thoughts and overview and a little comparison between uh, this and the XM18 three and a half inch. Um, so today I wanted to give a review. I've been carrying this knife for I would say right around three months, uh, maybe a little bit longer, but I've had it in my pocket almost daily, and I wanted to give my my thoughts and what I thought about about that so i like to do these long-term reviews um i think i think you know a couple week reviews are great they give a lot of information a lot of insight but um i know me personally and i know there's probably others out there that also want to know what people think long term does it does it stay in your pocket do you find something to replace it and it ends up being on the shelf kind of collecting collecting dust getting flipped every now and then or uh, what what you think about it after a while? So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. And I have to say, for me so far at this point, this has been the absolute best EDC knife that I have carried um, for quite a few reasons. And I normally carry carry knives with a little bit longer blade length. Uh, this has three and a quarter inch blade. Uh, I normally stick to three and a half, three and a half to four inch sometimes. And this is actually the first knife under three and a half inches that I've carried as my main knife on a daily basis, uh, as far back as I can remember. Um, so quick specs, um, three and a quarter inch blade length. Um, the width you got, you're looking at an inch and a quarter, uh, which I think is really nice. That's one thing that caught my eye initially because as you can see the XM18 three and a half inch um, it's got a little bit a little bit shorter of blade width than this one and I I like that I like having it a little bit a little bit thicker like that or a little bit taller I should say um, and the blade thickness uh, we're looking at 0.165 blade thickness and I love chunky blades like that. Uh, to me, that's the perfect thickness. It just it makes you feel like you can take this anywhere and do anything with it. It's it's solid. It's not gonna. I mean, you could snap it if you really wanted to and really tried and worked at it. But your basic things you're gonna be doing and maybe some things you shouldn't be doing. This is gonna get the job done. Uh, we got. Stone wash finish, and this comes in at 5.55 ounces. Uh, retails for $425, the same as the XM18, XM18, uh, three and a half inch, and I'm sure some of the other ones. And so yeah, so yeah, so for me, I've been carrying this on a daily basis. This knife has came in in handy on numerous different things. Um, my job that I work at, I it's I use a knife on a daily basis for opening things. I've I've had to, you know, cut through stuff that wasn't just cardboard, and um, the the blade has held up great. The there's virtually no scratches on here, which I was kind of amazed about. I did go ahead and resharpen this. I I did put a, a touched up the edge a little bit and got it all got it all even and. Uh, this 20 CV takes a takes a very very good edge and it lasts a long time. Uh, I would have to say 20 CV is probably my favorite blade steel. Um, I know I know people are kind of starting to get tired of uh, some things, you know the the 20 CV uh, frame lock flippers and uh, just titanium frame locks in general. I love them. I I don't. I'm not a fan of the way it kind of seems the market's going with the, you know, the smaller, lightweight, um, you know, virtually no weight, you, it, you lose it in your pocket, on and on. I Man, I want a sturdy knife. I want to feel some weight. I want some thickness on that. I want, 
I don't want to lose my knife in my pocket. I want to know my knife is right there in my pocket for when I need it. And I, I love countersunk uh, liners. You know, I, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of liner locks. Um, I love the compression lock on Spydercos. And Axis locks are all right. I get that they're tough. Um, I'm not going to say anything about Omega Springs because I've never had a problem with them. I don't know anyone that's ever had a problem with one. And I just, I like, I like detent. I like, you know, I like breaking that detent and, and flipping a knife open or, you know, having it being able to drop down. And you can't, you can't do that with an access lock. It's open and then completely drop shut. It's just, to me, there's no fidget factor in that. So that's, uh, I love, I love quite a few Benchmade knives. Um, I'm still a big fan of Benchmade. I just I don't care as much for the for the access lock. Um, I've kept this one this this entire time on um, bearings. I tried it out for a little bit with the phosphor bronze washers, and I switched back pretty quick. Not because I didn't like them, just I wasn't at I wasn't at the point where I wanted to break in the washers for a while. I needed something right then and there and at work, and I wanted to keep it going with this knife as long as long as I I could until until I could do a review like this where where I feel like I know this thing like the back of my hand like this has become an extension of my hand and it's at that point so if you've if you've seen these you know maybe for sale maybe for trade and you know you've been, you've been in the market for a hinderer and you weren't you weren't sure if you know, if you like the Jurassic, you were really seeking that XM18 and just didn't want to pull the trigger on this because you didn't know much about it. Uh, I have seen that it seems like there's not there's not too many uh, reviews or overviews on the Gen 2 Jurassics uh, as I thought there would be. And so that's why I've done two videos on that. Um, just trying to get that information out there because I, I feel like I kind of went in the dark when I when I bought this I just I took a chance and I jumped in I, I knew at least it was a Rick Hinder knife I knew that it was gonna be something good I knew I would be happy with it I just didn't know if I would have that feeling of regret like I should have waited held out for you know the the knife of my life the XM18 and I'm so glad I pulled the trigger on this I I think in my eyes the the way I view it is this knife is a is a evolution of this it's it's changed some of the things about this that you know that some people wish were were changed such as it's got it's got a taller blade it's got people think it's ugly it's got the the hump back you know the hump back whale right there but that's I I don't know exactly why but I think it's for the the ergos on this because this is so comfortable to hold. There's there's no hot spots that that hump fits in the palm of your hand just perfect. You have a spot for your thumb to go over or to put your thumb on the back, uh, hit that jimping right there. It just feels like it was made for the human hand. And whereas this is comfortable, I have no problems with the grip on this. Um, it's great. It just to me, it does feel a little skinny in the hand, a little, like I wish there was just a little bit more to hold on to. Here it is. And the, the blade length, you know, um, I guess, I guess three and a quarter is not going to do anyone any good in a three inch knife state law, but some people don't like three and a half inches. Some people think it's it's too long. Well, here's going down to three and a quarter without taking that step down to the XM18, the three inch, which I I had one for a bit. It was just it was just too too small for me. I got these meat paws, and you know those those little knives. I just I can't do it. I have to have a full grip, and yeah. So it, it also seems like you have. Uh, the second little cutout here uh, for your for your uh, ring finger to go into, or your middle finger, I should say. Sorry, for your bad finger to go into, and 
you're just you're locked in this thing I mean you this knife is going absolutely nowhere uh, the blade steel on it's same 20 CV I, I don't know if they've done done runs with different blade steels or not I'm not entirely sure about that um, it's a generation 2 so it, it is a triway pivot system uh, it comes with this really cool the oh man I'm not gonna remember the name for it uh, the interchangeable backspacers that hinder does HBS um, if I can figure out how to do it I'll put it on screen but it comes with that already installed so you can just take that out um, remove it backspacer and I believe it's either out or it's coming out soon you can put a little uh, pommel or a lanyard loop down here um, the only thing about about this knife that I would say you know could be a reason to kind of hold you back and wait for your next M18 is if you just want one to completely customize and make your own and that's that's one of the biggest draws you have towards this is you know Rick hinders make it your own you're gonna have a lot easier time and a lot more options as of right now if you go with, with this because there there's just not quite there's not as much stuff out for this I mean um, you know these you can find find uh, handle screws and the one standoff plus you can get a different color of the backspacer um, you know same with these pocket clip is the same on on pretty much all the hinders uh, your little filler tab I just I haven't I haven't seen any anything that's caught my eyes as far as scales go um, I believe I saw a translucent one on one of the websites but it was gone pretty quick and I believe this takes the XM18 pivot screw. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Don't put it in there and say Blade Edge told me to do it, man. <laughs> but other than that, there's there's in my opinion there's nothing to dislike about this. Um, someone someone said that that hump on the back it's just butt ugly. Have you seen spider codes? <laughs> Those are butt ugly, but they work, and that's why people love them. Um, this knife, I'm really going to try to stop saying um so much. I apologize. This knife, it just, it's a warrior. It's ready to go to work. It's ready to do the job. It has, it has great action. I love, love the speed this one flips open. And of course it's got that ball bearing drop shut. Uh, it, it feels like it just, it opens a little harder or smoother than in the XM18. That could just be me. It could just be because I'm talking about it. But And the sound. I'm a big sound guy. And the sound on this, I love it. Um, I'll open it up real quick so you can take a look inside of what it looks like. Uh, I'll be back when it's open. Alright, and I'm back. So, we got the screws taken out, pivot screw taken out. Get the scale off here. And then you got your titanium liner get that guy off of there titanium liner how we're looking looks great then we got our blade looking good looking good that other bearing out and you got you can see you got your stop pin right here good size stop pin and you get the other side of your pivot and then I didn't I didn't take these out but there's your your standoff uh, I could take this out real quick to show you so you just unscrew this guy right down in here and then it'll just slide off the bottom right there once once she's ready. And then that's your little backspacer there. And then you can see that goes on a on a special little standoff right there. That still takes the normal the normal screw. 
on that side and this is what will be interchangeable so you have to have this on your knife but you can see right here there's a slot put onto this side for for this to slide up into so it is a built-in feature it's not it's not one that it's just like they included one it's actually made for it and I can't wait to see what which other ones you can put on I think that's that's pretty cool um, yeah, looking looking good on there everything's nice and nice and clean I do I do take my knives apart pretty often and clean them so I'm not gonna say I went four months without cleaning or oiling or anything on this because that would be that would be a complete lie and sorry I a frame on half of that and yeah that's that's about it that's how that's how she all comes apart and just your your basic uh triway pivot system and you can you can put in the spacers in here and put your phosphor bronze washer inside of there and do the same on this side space spacer phosphor bronze and you can do that if you want to run on that. It also has a Teflon washer. I actually really like how the Teflon feels once it's broken in. Um, a lot of people put it in. They try it out for five minutes. And they say, nope, not for me. But you got to let Teflon break in. And I feel like more people would like it if they just actually experienced it. Because it is, it is actually very, very good feeling. That's what Hinder used to use in all of his knives for a long time until he came out with the triway, which I think is is the best thing that has ever been made for for knives or folding knives like this. That is one of it. It's so like if every knife had that, if every knife you had that came on bearings or came on washers, and you had the option to switch it, man, that would be awesome. Maybe one day. Maybe one day that will be a thing that everybody starts doing. Until then, uh, let's just hope it happens. <laughs> so let me put this back together for my, my final analysis conclusion. Sorry. Just a quick note while I'm doing this. Um, if you're putting yours back together, taking it apart for the first time, it does not matter which way the bearing goes in. You can put it in that way. You can put it in balls out. Um, it really doesn't matter. I don't. It doesn't make a difference. I like to put mine balls out. I've just always done that, and I kind of kind of stick with it. I believe they both come with the bearings facing one way. Like the balls are all facing to the left on on this and on the knife. But I saw. I think it was USA Made Blade might have might have done a video on Jurassic's and and said the same thing. Like with how many they take apart and do, I would trust him more than everybody except for Rick Hinder and he said they have tried them every every which way and they've never noticed a difference so just a matter of preference or how you throw them in back at you another quick note for people that that don't know um you also want to make sure when you're putting when you're putting oil in here um you don't want to get any oil down here on your on your lock face that's you don't want to put anywhere this makes contact in there um that's just i believe it wears your metal faster because it's smoother so and it, it changes your lock geometry a little bit and yeah keep keep that place dry be back and we're back i'm gonna show you how that backspacer goes in real quick so got that got that and it's gonna go in this way so the two notches on the backspacer here. Uh, we're going to put, sorry, I accidentally grabbed the blue loop out. Um, so you're gonna put those two notch notches right inside there and line up the bottom. So line up the bot notches in, line it up, push it straight up, get your tool snug it down good to go and I love how this back switcher too is kind of it's like kind of floating I don't know if you can yeah you can kind of see that there um, let's see here 
you can see how you can see the light through there. So it's kind of kind of like a floating little backspacer almost. I really like that. It'd be it'd be awesome if he started including that on all of his other knives. Maybe there's a Gen 7 XM18 three and a half that's coming out that has has that feature built in. Uh, as you can see, woo, action is great after a little fresh oil on there. Almost hit my camera. It looks kind of cool. All right, so this has been long-term review of the Hinder Jurassic. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stayed tuned till the end. If not, at least thank you for stopping and checking it out. If you fast forwarded to the end, um, please, if you can, if you like what I'm doing or trying to do, uh, please subscribe or leave me a like or leave me a comment, whether it's a good comment or a negative one or just one to help me out with something that you think I could be, should be doing different. Uh, I would appreciate it. I'm going to keep trying my best to, to get videos out. Um, I've had a couple, I've had to rearrange a little bit to try to get my, my workspace and my studio set up to where it's going to look good and it doesn't look janky like my first, first couple ones. Uh, I feel like I'm evolving a little bit, getting a little bit better every time. So uh, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Um, I will be doing a giveaway once I got to decide. I got to look at where I'm at with subscribers and see where I'm going to do the cutoff for a giveaway. And it's going to be a pretty cool knife. So yeah, keep keep following. Thank you. I really appreciate it, guys. Hope you have a good day. Uh, today's Saturday, so I hope everyone that's waiting for a knife delivery today gets it. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time.